Hello everyone. Uh, this is Suresh here. Uh, so in this section, we are in the new section of our internal organs. Uh, we will be starting with our liver. Okay. So in the liver, there will be uh, in the parts there will be video. So first video is on the topography of the liver. Okay. So in the next video, we will be discussing on the external structure of our liver. What are the parts? What are the surfaces? What are the ligaments in the liver? Okay. In this video, we are going to discuss about our topography. So in topography, you know that topography is with respect to organs, with respect to skeleton, and with respect to your uh, abdominal. Uh, abdominal region okay so which are orga uh, the organs which lie in the abdominal cavity for them uh, there is a specific topography called as golotopy okay so uh, the organs which are in the abdominal wall they have a specific topography called as golotopy and uh, there are three topographies uh, which we will be discussing in this video okay so first you know uh, what are the three types of uh, topography okay so first one is actually your skeletotopy of the liver we will be discussing so a uh, skeletotopy is actually uh, the topography with respect to your skeleton okay that is with respect to your uh, ribs okay or with respect to your uh, vertebral column so in this uh, uh, skeletotopy we will be uh, telling the liver uh, where it is located with respect to your uh, uh, ribs okay or intercostal spaces because liver is a has a variable skeletotopy okay uh, according to its boundary okay and uh, so it is skeletotopy with respect to ske uh, skeleton with respect to skeleton skeleton okay and second we will be discussing uh, it is your syntopy so syntopy is actually uh, the uh, topography with respect to other organs other organs means what are the organs which are lying inferior to liver and the organs which are lying superior or lateral okay anterior or posterior so it depends on different organs where it de where they lies okay so for liver we will be discussing later on so just know the meaning so the syntopy is actually a topography with respect to other organs with respect to respect to other organs okay and third one will be your holotopy so holotopy is actually with respect to your abdominal regions you know that there are the nine abdominal regions uh, okay so with respect to that in which region the organ is lying so by that specific region we will name that uh, that topography in the golotopy okay so these are the basic points for the uh, starting our topography okay so first we will be starting with our skeletotopy of our liver okay so liver has actually a skeletotopy on the anterior lateral surface of our trunk and in the abdominal region okay and it will having a uh, two boundaries we will discussing upper boundary and the lower boundary so uh, first we will discussing the skeletotopy i will show you the marking um, uh, means marking on the the thoracic cage okay and the ribs and the some part of your abdomen okay so uh, there are lines you know that surface lines uh, surface uh, lines on the uh, thoracic wall so just i will label the basic uh, naming for them so this is actually your middle axillary line middle axillary line okay and the just medial to that is your anterior axillary line and just medial to that is your mid clavicular line which is dividing the bicep to the clavicle coming from that there clavicle there okay and this medial to that will be your parasternal line okay and the this line which is just medial uh, just lateral to your sternum it is your sternal line so these are the line and there will be some line in the posterior wall also because this is your anterior and some part of your lateral wall in the lateral wall we can see your middle axillary line and these are the lines on the anterior wall your anterior axillary line middle clavicular line parasternal and sternal line and same will be here okay so uh, first we will begin uh, with our upper boundary so in the case of your upper boundary okay so in case of our upper boundary this liver actually originates from your 10th uh, tenth intercostal spaces so i marked this is your fifth rib sixth rib seventh rib eighth rib ninth rib and tenth rib okay so will be uh, this liver is actually uh, located in this region only so i have shown uh, only these ribs so it will be its upper boundary is actually starting in the 10th intercostal space just on the mid middle axillary line okay here and this line and this liver actually ascends upward the boundary of this upper boundary of liver ascends upward just uh, with the attachment to your diaphragm okay so diaphragm uh, attached to your diaphragm boundary ascends upward like this and takes a uh, oblique turn here okay and so it ascends left to your diaphragm okay so diaphragm will be right to this uh, boundary of your upper boundary of your liver so this is left to your diaphragm and it attends uh, ascends in the left line actually and reaches your uh, fourth intercostal space okay here in the mid clavicular line in the level of your mid clavicular line so here it actually reaches okay this upper boundary now from here it actually takes an oblique uh, descent okay it actually descend this boundary descent and just crosses your sternum 
just crossing your sternum it is going from the sternum up of the base of your scaphoid process so this is actually your base of scaphoid process okay so this is crossing the above the base of the scaphoid process and this reaches your base of the scaphoid process and is actually transect the sternum and reaches your fifth intercostal space just above your sixth rib okay there this upper boundary there it ends in the fifth intercostal space okay so in the fifth intercostal space this upper boundary is ending okay and transiting the uh, sternum over the base of the scaphoid process now we will uh, see our uh, lower boundary how it is formed okay so lower boundary also begins uh, from your 10th intercostal space from here only and from here it actually begins like this just below your 10th rib somewhat because it just intersect or uh, just transect this 10th and 9th inter uh, and 10th and 9th coastal cartilages okay like this this upper boundary and then it takes an oblique ascent after uh, just intersecting your 9 coastal cartilage it now goes to your left side okay left side and this goes to the left side uh, transacting your epigastric region just crossing your epigastric uh, part uh, which we'll see in the colotopy so it just crosses that epigastric part epigastrium region and now it just intersect your in the left side your 7th uh, uh, coastal arc okay so just transect this 7th coastal arc reaching your 7th intercostal space and then it joins this upper boundary in the 5th intercostal space okay like this here like this okay so this was actually your skeletotopy okay so the skeletotopy has two boundaries upper how the upper boundary is formed with respect to your skeleton and how is the lower boundary formed with respect to skeleton now let's move on to your syntopy so for syntopy i will write here syntopy of liver so what are the organs which are present above or uh, below your liver so first we will see the superior part so as you know that uh, this uh, liver is actually co covered just above by your diaphragm so superiorly there will be uh, it's clear that there will be diaphragm okay so it is in the cover of your diaphragm this liver okay and inferiorly there will be many abdominal organs inferiorly inferiorly so inferiorly there will be first of all there will be stomach majority stomach will be there okay you can see stomach and there will be kidney also right kidney okay so kidney has a renal gland so right renal gland will also be there and there will be transverse column also some part of your transverse column okay and uh, laterally in the left side you can say that is here you can say there will be stomach only uh, in the left side left side you can say stomach's uh, cardiac part okay stomach's cardiac part or the connection of your esophagus with stomach so left part you can say it as cardiac part of stomach left laterally you can say okay and in the right side there will be simple there will be diaphragm you can say the part of diaphragm or you can say abdominal wall okay right lateral diaphragm you can say or abdominal wall okay so this was your syntopy skeletotopy i have told now we will move on to your colotopy so golotopy has a you know that i will show you the basic concept of your golotopy so uh, just below your thoracic thorax there are nine two transverse planes uh, these are actually your lateral planes two lateral planes like this and two transverse plane like this in your abdominal region okay so these are your actually lateral planes lateral right and left and this is your trans pyloric plane and this is your trans tubicular plane okay so it is so again dividing this into nine regions okay so this is your hypochondric hypochondrial this is your lumbar this is your iliac and same will be here hypo h i can say l and i okay and in between this will be your epigastric region this is, here is your umbilicus so this will be umbilical region and this will be your hypogastric okay so liver is actually located like this so liver is actually located like 
this okay so it is covering the most of the part your epigastric region this region and your hypochondria right so this is your right side this is your left side so in the golotopy it is actually covering your uh, epigastric part epigastrial region and your right hypochondrial region okay and some part of your right lumbar also right lumbar also and it's just small we can say just little part in the left hypochondrial so that doesn't matter so only these three points are important epigastric right hypochondrial region and right lumbar region so this was actually your topography for the liver okay so just go through it and in the next video we'll be seeing the part two in which we will be discussing about the external structure that is surfaces and whole basic anatomy of the liver okay thank you